consulting, uh, the non-spring actuators, then we're going to wire up uh, the actuators. So, steal your actuator. I'll talk about this. Back to the wiring. So when you're wiring up one of the damper actuators to the damper, or mounting it to the damper, I should say, but really involve the wiring what I'm talking about right now. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to put the, uh, the actuator over your damper shaft. You're going to secure the anti-rotation pin. But then before you secure uh, your clamp onto, uh, onto the shaft, what you're going to want to do with the non-spring, you've got this button, the manual override button. You're going to want to offset the uh, clamp by about five degrees. The reason you're going to do that is then when you apply power, it's going to go to its closed position and it's going to give you a tighter seal on your damper. So, back to you guys. As you can see here, we're we don't have enough for everybody to have their own uh, PS100 tool and the uh, actuator, so you're going to have to pair up on these. <coughs> Excuse me, but we'll uh, we'll work on wiring these up now. So, non-spring return. Initially, we're going to wire it up like this. Next slide. First of all. Point out one thing here: you want the uh, the switch, the zero one switch, to be in the one position. So if it's not, yours is. Use your little uh, screwdriver and put it in the the one position. That's just indicating the direction of rotation. When you're ready to wire it up, we're going to wire up to the two far left terminals. So black will go to black, that's your common. Red will go to your 24 volt high. Right now we're not going to wire up the uh, white wire. You breaking our stuff already? You I break it, you buy it. I got to get my hard hat. We're not locked out. By the way, where's your safety gear? <laughs> you don't want to get electric. You got your, you got your floor mat? Wristband? Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you have it wired up, it applies power. See what happens. And these are, see there, LMD 24-3 actuators. Anybody want to tell me what that means? That's my answer. What's the vortex? Four volt versus low dash three is three per minute roll. Yep. On all the low Yep, on off or floating, uh, non-spring. No F in that part number, it's an M. Now if you if you're take your screwdriver and turn that switch now, you can see the actuator start moving in the opposite direction. Okay, so okay. There you go. <laughs> Everybody see that? Moving, moving well for everybody? Everybody's actuator is now working. I do this class you know, multiple times a year. So every once in a while, somebody will have uh, done something to one of them. Usually, if, if something happens, it's usually that switch. It's a plastic switch. If you mess with them enough times, it breaks off inside. Okay, well now what you can do, you can take the white wire 
connect it to your 24 volt hot and see what happens.